Capricorn, welcome and thank you for tuning in to the energies and influences coming through for the month of January 2019. This is a condensed general reading. Please only take the portions that resonate with you. I invite you to subscribe and like and comment. Not only do I really love that, but it helps to bring your vibration into the future readings. And I send my intentions out for my community. Please remember to check out my description box below. Thanks, you guys. And after the reading is a take note moment. Okay, Capricorn. Off camera, I've done a protective blessing. I've shuffled and meditated over these cards just for you. Your first card. It's the general atmosphere of the month. It's the background and the basis of the matter. This is you, Capricorn, the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This is a mature man, and they know how to handle money. The King of Pentacles. This could be a father or a boss around you, someone with authority. It's someone who loves money and riches, and they're happy to collect as much as possible. This is someone that may want to profit from you sometime in the future. A dependable, solid citizen. They're kind to others. And this indicates security. You may need to express yourself and undertake what should be done and just do it. This person takes few risks. They're disciplined and they have their eye on the bottom line. They're thoughtful and sensual, and they're a person that treasures comfort. They're generous and calm and patient, and a wonderful family man. This is person, they're very clever in financial and business life, so much so like they're a financial wizard. This person is not corrupt. They earn money through hard and patient effort. This may be advice to tell you to avoid letting yourself become dependent on your money or the opinion of the outside world. Caution slows up this person's decision making, and the delay often proves to be a wise move. The shadow to this card as a person would be someone who is just totally resistant to change. Your second card, this is the energies crossing over your path. This can be a challenge. The Knight of Swords, this is air energy. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. The Knight of Swords, this can be messages or a person. They could be aggressive. They're coming in swiftly with this messages. Could be a messages of differences of opinion. The Knight of Swords, it's speed and a swift action, a communication. This person, this person, they're impatient and sharp-minded and direct. They're rational and they're not driven by feelings. This could be sudden changes that happen to disrupt your normal habits. This could be a conflict, differences of opinion. You need to use diplomacy and honesty. Over-eagerness can create problems. This person is idealistic and competitive. They may be fighting for a cause. They might be trying to win an argument. Sometimes driving too fast. You're to listen before you charge in. There could be lots of messages coming in over the internet or the voicemail. Your third card, this is how it affects you. This can be your attitude. The Queen of Swords, more air energy. Aquarius, Libra, or Gemini. As a general, me uh, a general reading, this doesn't always have to be a male. The Queen of Swords. This is an independent and mature woman. And they're very strong-willed. They're a good communicator. They think things through. They have a keen mind. 
They could be a lawyer or a minister. There's someone that's been able to cope with loss. And they provide solutions with honesty and truth and discernment. This person accepts life as it is. They give good advice. This person, they could be a teacher or a counselor or a communicator, even a lawyer. This person treasures solitude and is able to overcome loneliness by doing independent project, projects. She may be critical of her own thoughts and she needs to learn to have greater compassion for herself because sometimes this person can be cutting with their words and they're advised to consider other people's feelings when speaking the truth because it is possible to be both honest they're loyal and true the fourth card it's the position of the future it's the results the outcome and the advice Queen of Wands, this is Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This is a passionate person. They love their family and home life, and they'll do anything to protect it, like a lioness. The Queen of Wands, this is having faith and inspiration. This person is magnetic, they attract. They're full of love of life and and they have eagerness for experience. They have strong sensual appetites. This person can have several projects going at one time and that will still not distract them from the energy they put into their home life. This card can also indicate that there's help close at hand. They will provide valuable assistance. If this is you, you have the qualities to succeed. And now is a good time to move forward in, in business or creative ventures. This person is a natural leader. Your fifth card. It's the bottom of the deck card. The underlying issue. This is what's unseen. The Ace of Cups. A new beginning. And love. And fertility. A gift should be grasped so it can be nurtured. The Ace of Cups. This is water. It stands for emotion and feelings and pleasure. It represents fertility, instincts and beauty. And you're advised to pay special attention to the subtle signs of synchronicity. This is a great word coming and joy and it's going to be gained from a loving relationship. The cup symbolizes the person's spiritual life and the capacity of a soul, its wishes and fears and all feelings. The great waters stand for the sea, for the ocean of feelings and our communication with everything. This is a reminder to go with the flow. There's dreams coming true and consummation of something hoped for. It's joyful. It's a change. This could be the birth of a child or an idea, but it is fertility and blessings. This could be good news coming, new feelings, a marriage, an opening of intuition, and an emotional fresh start. Thank you guys, Capricorn. Now stay tuned in and leave me a comment. Take note this is key. Remember, we need to ask if we want answers. If you are visualizing all the time and nothing is happening, it means that we are overriding our intentions in some other powerful way that we are not aware of. Ask yourself, what are we thinking? What actions are we taking? What words are we speaking? When we are not sure, we should ask with our words and our mind. Ask to be shown where we are overriding our intentions, and it will be shown to us clearly. But first, we must ask. Hey, remember, what goes around comes around. So I'm sending you guys out love and light. Thanks for watching.